Okay, how's everybody doing out there? First of all, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Crystal H Technology Screens using Smart Technology Gain. Today we're going to be showing off two items that I have in my office slash uh, gaming room. All right, so over here, this is the Nano Black. Um, this is our spray-on 3D and 4K ready screen paint. I actually coated a piece of plexiglass. This is actually the 4x8 that I had in the office. The screen used to be an Ultra uh, Supreme. Actually, it was an Ultra Supreme. And then it was a Platinum Slate. And then I just turned into a Black Nano uh, yesterday. All right. And then over here on the table, we have... I'll get my camera to play right with me. We have... This is the, um, the Eclipse Invisible Nano Black. This is my tabletop... Uh, wallpaper projection screen. Keep in mind, I've used this same uh, sample outside at around 10 feet back outside in a, uh, you can't say fully lit environment because it's outside ambient light, so it's going to be bright regardless. At 10 feet back, and the image still shows up. So, you know, using it on an ultra short throw at this distance really doesn't make a difference because the screen has already proved itself as being a very superior screen, especially when the screen can actually produce a higher white level than an average black screen. Now, as I said before, that the technology on the Nano is extremely, extremely good, um, even though that the Invisible is actually a much more advanced form of technology. All right, so. And show you my environment. Got the blinds fully open. We got plenty of light coming in. Got a hundred watt light bulb over top of the ceiling. My projector, my um, my gaming room slash office is around 13 feet back. So that's where the projector is sitting at the very end, at 13 feet back. I did this on the short throw. Now I'm going to do this on a long throw at 13 feet back, and just show you that the picture quality is going to look absolutely incredible. And keep in mind, the two windows that I have that cascade light into my environment are in direct contact with the screen and direct contact with the surface. All right, so first things first, let's remove what we got blocking our projector, and let's begin. Now keep in mind the projector has never been calibrated, there's no form of 4K upscaling whatsoever. 13 feet back, still set in the factory default settings. And we're in a fully lit environment on a nano black. Coated this screen yesterday, it took me about, about 20 minutes to coat the screen. Drying time is extremely fast. And this is the results I get with my projector sitting back 13 feet from the screen. Now I've got this running and I've got the tabletop wallpaper uh, projection screen running at the same time. Look how fantastic that screen, look at the angle gain on that screen. This is the angle gain on this screen at 13 feet back fully lit environment and that's one of the things that I need when I'm in my office I need plenty of light especially if I'm doing a lot of paperwork I have to be able to see what I'm reading and what I'm signing my name to so it's very important that I have as much light as possible in the environment and look at that look at the wallpaper screen look at that tabletop wallpaper screen with all the light hitting it it looks absolutely fantastic Now see, this is true technology. You don't have to be in the dark. You don't have to worry about if your walls are too white and are gonna produce too much ambient light. You can have your windows open up behind you and let light come in. You tell me who's out there on the internet doing demonstrations like this on this level. All lights on. Oh, sorry about that. My camera leaned to the side. I was sitting here looking for something. Oh, if I remember, pause is right there. 
I'm gonna go back here a minute. I'm gonna grab me a video of myself. I'm streaming. If you wonder how I'm doing this, actually, um, from the from my computer, I'm streaming from here on a Chromecast, and then from my cell phone, I'm streaming from there over to here. All right, so let's grab something else. Let's grab. Uh, actually, I want to do that snow scene again because I want to show you how amazing the whites are on a nano. Now, keep in mind, like I said, yes, the invisible nano does have more superior white levels, but when it comes to the nano, um, nano black, the white levels are insane. They're still very, very well. It's a very well white level, considering the fact that the screen is jet black. All right, let's go in real quick. I want to bring up that snow scene with snowboarder. All right, should have had all these preset, but just got up early in the morning, decided to just get this done, get it out of the way because I have a ton of orders on the floor and I still have orders that have to be shipped out and it's snowing here in Philadelphia. Let's see what we got here. I'll find this video real fast. I probably have bypassed it and didn't realize it. Let's see what we got. Probably did bypass it. All right, let me see if I can go back a bit. My cell phone here, I'm going to scroll through my cell phone real quick. This right here, look at that, that's amazing. The light's coming down and that looks absolutely amazing. And like I said, that's the invisible. And I had somebody come and say, well, of course it looks amazing. The projector sitting right up on top of the screen. And like I tell people, please do not come into my channel without educating yourself on my technology. I had to show them a demonstration where that screen was sitting outside 10 feet back. And you can't get any higher than the ambient light in that kind of environment on a 3200 lumen projector. All right, so let's. I'm gonna grab anything for right now because I'm kind of scrolling through this, trying to figure out where that snowboarding video is at. But we'll play this one for right now. This has a pretty good high white level in it. Look at that. black screen now keep in mind if the nano black white levels are this good like I said the um the invisibles are insane they have insane white levels screens can almost match a silver screen I'm gonna grab some black contrast next. I think that'll be a nice demonstration to do with some black contrast. Let's get this one right here. Let's see. Do some black contrast. Kind of hoping for something a little different than that. Some black contrast. Let's, let's go with this one right here. Let's see what this one does. We some black contrast from here. Keep in mind, there's window light coming in and hitting the screen. This is easy for this technology. Look 
instead of the fact I got two projectors crossing over each other. These projectors are literally crossing over each other. Look at this. Okay, before my time runs out here, I'm Kenneth Burr from Crystal Edge Technology Screens using Smart Technology Gain. This right here is the Nano Black 4K and 3D Ready spray on screen paint. And then over here we have the Invisible Nano. Here we go. Let's get our snow scene before I sign off. Now, of course, an invisible nano is going to make the screen seem a little darker because it's a much more brighter and advanced screen. Alone, without the um, invisible nano sitting next against it, the screen looks absolutely incredible. My camera strap in the way. Keep in mind, well lit environment, projector sits 13 feet back. What is the environment? I don't want to get in the way of the screen here. Just back a little bit more. That camera strap out of the way. In mind, this is all on plexiglass. Everything here on plexiglass. the angle gain on that screen. Now I want to announce something really quick before my time runs out here. We are working on a new form of kind of ultra silver. It's almost like a white screen. It's being designed for dedicated movie theaters only. So it, right now we just coded the first sample downstairs. Um, this will maybe a technology that will be available for our distributorship contracts only. But this technology is designed for dedicated movie theaters and it is going to be absolutely incredible. This is going to be pretty much the lightest screen we've ever designed. And it's going to, the gain on that screen is going to be insane for a screen that light. Also too, it may be a very good advancement with low entry level cheap projectors also. Keep in mind, this is the dark scenery, how much light we got hitting this screen. get something here really quick before I sign out here trying to get as much as I can in this one video because I'm not gonna have time to do a bunch of videos today just not gonna have time for it I got too much on the plate today this is a nano black keep in mind that can pull this off
keep in mind how much light we have in the environment. This is dark scenery. All right, thank you all for your time. Everyone have a good one. I'll make it a little easy. I'll take out the overhead light. Still too easy. All right, thank you all for your time. I'm Kenneth Hurt from Crystal Witch Technology Screens, showing you what real technology looks like. Thank you all for your time.